this week a big development in the UK, because our theme today is the March of the War Criminals, okay. is that the Home Office grants asylum to a Palestinian who couldn't go back to Israel. That's the first time they've admitted that Israel is an apartheid state. This is a groundbreaking moment, and while the government's trying to distract you with their politics, their Islamophobia, their constant uh, hatred of all people who are not white, basically, which is ironic, but they, while they do that distraction, there are developments that are happening. Also this week, there was a very embarrassing interview with, what's it called? Michael Gove, thank you. Uh, Michael Gove, where he finally admitted that Gaza is an occupied territory. But this week, Connor Burns also emailed one of you guys, I can't remember who it was, and he referenced Gaza as an illegally occupied territory. This once again is a groundbreaking moment for our country because the conversation will change. The things that we can say will change and the truth will come out. We knew it was going to happen, it's taken far too long, but when you feel really sad and really down, as we all do, just remember that behind the scenes things are changing and the conversation is changing, it's just not fast enough. Big thanks to everyone, continue to come, here, come out, week in, week out, every day, sharing things online, emailing MPs, like it's incredibly important. And I'll just say that when we witness these horrific things on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter or whatever, wherever you are, your MPs don't see it. They don't see it. And when they send their template email, emails back, you're emailing them with passion and upset with what you've seen. They haven't seen it. My recommendation is to, when you see something online, horrific, like the flower massacre a week ago or last night or the day before that, because I do it all the time, email your MP and put a link in your email with what you have seen. I know ChatGBT has got some problems. You can use ChatGBT if you're not great at writing. Just say in there, because it's got pro-Israel bias, just say grammar, spell check this in British English. Don't add and don't remove any context and it will write it as, as you wrote it. Free, free!